Hey Shubi Doodlers, how are you doing? Well, Wacom. It's Wacom, not Wacom, apparently. So it's a WA, it's a Japanese kind of circle of life thing. Com, computers. Circle of life of computers. They have sent me an Entuos Creative Pen Tablet. Now this is the, the cheaper hob hobbyist kind of version and it comes with two free creative software downloads. Uh, there's a choice. It comes with digital painting, photo editing, or comics and manga. So I won't do the photo editing because I use Photoshop for that. But I'm going to download the digital painting and the comics and manga and I'm going to try them out. But in the meantime, let's open the box and see what is inside. So here we have the box, which is in this lovely, ooh, kind of soft vinyl finish. And let's open it up. And it is pistachio flavor. Yum, 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 yum. So. <laughs> Let us see what we have. We got a little tab here and we pull that out. Oh, and inside we got the pen, instructions, and a USB cable. So let's undo this, pull that back, and pull it out. So we've got a little name tag across the top there, which uh, is quite cute. Must have a purpose, I should think. Uh, let's see what else we've got. We have got, oh, let's be gentle with this. Uh, we've got the pen and that does that come out Oop. of its little plastic wrapper it does and there's the pen let me compare that with the Intuos Pro which is a little bit bigger and um, we have the same rocker switch on there so we've got a rocker switch so we've got kind of two buttons and we have got oh that's good that's like connected on there so that if you're kind of traveling you can um, wrap it up nice and neat again so that's a USB cable to fit in there which is gonna go yep there's the USB that will fit into there uh, you've also got that little uh, thing there so you can put a, a kind of carrying handle in there or maybe even a little kind of lucky charm thing like a phone charm now across the top here we have express keys and you can assign assign these buttons um, to be anything you want they can be multiple keystrokes any command on your computer you can assign to one of these buttons and in fact for any program or app you're using you can specifically design them to that app same with the buttons on the top I'll show you that in a moment so this is our introduction thing uh, it tells you what you've got Bluetooth as well so if I click that um, that's now showing it's got battery power all there in there already um, so it will connect Bluetooth or it will connect USB and of course it will charge itself up while it's on USB so you don't have to be connected on the USB cable I'll just turn that off <laughs> stop flashing at me um, now plug it in it says go to wacom.com start in TUOS and it tells you here on USB take away the cable and press that middle button and then the other sheet of paper you get with it is hmm, all that stuff there are lots of little dots here which are marking out the actual working area and I'm just wondering whether they are in fact pretty much not quite just slightly over one centimeter so it kind of gives you a, an idea of a centimeter grid so let's go and plug this in and see how it works now I've just plugged in the Intuos and this into a setup wizard appeared so it says pen buttons it's letting you know press the button on the pen so that's the back button while hovering over to right click express keys are customizable buttons with keyboard shortcuts or application functions and pen hover hover the pen over the surface to move the cursor tap the pen tip to the surface of the tablet to click register your product to redeem your software sign in or create a Wacom ID to start the process you can self-employed freelancer use it for my job that's me there we go <laughs> create a Wacom Wacom ID I still want to call them Wacom verify so they sent me an email so congratulations I've registered the Wacom into a small BT pen pistachio view the software library select your free bundle software and start your new creative experience painter essentials this is going to be kind of a simple kind of version so I'm going to add that to my library and then I'm also going to want this clip studio paint pro clip studio paint pro standard paint tool for manga by utilizing Wacom's pen and pressure sensitivity within it, you can draw very detailed and smooth lines by hand. Clip Studio Paint Pro also offers easy to use advanced tools for any art style. Cool. So I'm going to add that to my library as well. So here we are. So I'm going to download that now. 
and I am going to download that now. So that is cool. Okay, so this is the preference pane for the tablet, which is probably exactly the same as you get on uh, Windows. I imagine it's very, very similar. This is on a Mac. So we've got this little row across the top. So now I'm kind of assigning things to the tablet. And on the tablet, we have got uh, a little row of express keys across the top. Uh, and we've got two on this side and two on that side. And here um, we can assign any kind of keystroke or anything that we want to it. So at the moment, this button here, uh, if you press it, it will equal shift. Um, and then we've got option, we've got control and command there. So when I press that button, it will be the same as pressing the shift key. <laughs> that one, same as the option key. So this one, same as control and this same as command. When you get different things, you know, you get alt keys and things on Windows. With the pen, we can check out the uh, kind of the tip, the tip feel. So, so that's kind of feeling like I don't have to press too hard to get to the Mac. If I go to soft, that's really easy. Hardly touching it, and that's maximum pressure. Firm, I have to press quite hard to get to the end, and there, that's sort of somewhere in the middle, of course. Uh, the tip double click distance. I can't feel any difference in that at all. Okay, so now these are the little keys on the pen. So the back one, if you click, is a right click. And at the moment, it's saying the front is a scroll. But again, by clicking here, you could have that button there for anything you, you like. So you could have, you know, a keystroke modifier. What does that come up with? Uh, keys, shift, shift, shift. You could have it kind of option, command, alt, or something like that or mouse wheel or you know you can change it to all these different kind of modifiers but well, let's just keep it there for the moment mapping uh, now this means that the now this means you can have the pen just being a mouse across the screen and you can accelerate <laughs> so you can have acceleration off so it's just kind of goes smoothly across the screen high acceleration means as you go really, really fast, it just stays where it is. But if you go really slowly, it kind of goes slowly across <laughs> across the screen. But waggle it really fast, even, and I waggle it right the way across the whole of the tablet. Um, it's not covering the whole screen. But if I turn it, but if I do it very slowly, then it does. So, uh, you know, it's something you might like to try. And then this is the speed, so that's going very, very slowly. <laughs> and then we can go very, very fast too, which means it just zooms across the screen, which I find really quite tricky. So let's go back to pen mode. Well, I feel a lot happier in pen mode. Look, if you go here and force the proportions, then that means that the tablet is the same proportions as your screen. So if you draw a circle, you will get a circle on the screen. If you're unforced, then you might get a slight kind of elliptical shape, if, if you follow what I mean. So the shape of your tablet is not the exact size, is not the exact shape of your screen. So force those proportions. On screen controls, I have no idea what that is about. You can <laughs> go and find that out and enjoy all the wonders of that uh, on your own. So with the tablet here, um, like I use Photoshop a lot. So if I add Photoshop to this thing up here, then I think I would like to have the control on here. Mod where have we got modifier? So I think I prefer to have control on that side. Take the option off. And here I'm going to have a keyboard keystroke uh, where I'm going to do a little X um, because I know that that kind of to it's a toggle keystroke X toggles <laughs> toggles things so that will just give me a quick thing I can just press that rather than finding uh, keystrokes or other things like that and up here you can add any programs or apps that you like and you can uh, set these modifier keys up specifically for that program and similarly for that program you can set the pen up so that the uh, different click things um, are suited particularly to that program. So you've got a lot of um, fine tuning that you can do. Clip Studio, which I've downloaded. Uh, this looks like, these kind of look like adver adverts for extras that you can add on this. Now, if you go online to the Clip Studio paint official tips and tutorials, so on here is kind of everything that you're going to need to go. And of course, you can look up on YouTube. There's going to be loads and loads of things on there too. 
Now this is uh, Clip Studio Paint and you can see it's a, a pretty massive kind of thing. There's an awful lot to learn here. I'm not really a digital artist. Um, I like to draw on paper mostly and I do colour in on Photoshop. Let's draw with a pen. There we go. So this is a pencil um, and we could choose up here. Oh, pas pastels. What have we got? Crayon chalks, things like that. Let's try something a bit, a bit bigger. That's better. Um, and we can choose colors down here and um, all sorts of you know different brushes different sizes try a big one like that and it looks like we can kind of do vector lines here as well I'm not really quite sure you are going to have so much fun learning what this is all about uh, we got kind of spray cans what have we got on this thing I have no idea that's a kind of different patterns what is that happening I have no idea <laughs> there is so much here for you to learn this is free and this is not amateur at all this is um, a really quite amazing I have no idea what these things are for timeline so that obviously means that you can do animations on here as well I presume um, over here just like Photoshop we've got layers uh, you can add new layers so and you'll be able to do kind of transparency between layers and do all sorts of exciting things if you want to get into digital art and painting this looks like an amazing program to get you started and with the intuos tablet pen you're gonna have so much fun now i discovered something really really cool about now i discovered something really cool about the pen is if you unscrew it you can see can i focus on that you get these three spare nibs sitting in the bottom there like that why would you need spare nibs well i think you know if you are rubbing one thing against another for long enough um you will get abrasion and eventually this nib will kind of wear down a little bit so you if, if it does when it does you've got spare nibs in there you can also get different uh, spare nibs you can get some that feel like felt tips you can get some which feel a bit more toothy like a pencil uh, if you want to try those different kinds of nibs, but you have got those there just in case. So the Intuos, this one comes in this lovely pistachio. This little Wacom thing across the top, I've worked out what that's for. Look, that's where the pen goes to keep it nice and safe when you're taking it around and traveling. These express tees, keys across the top give you lots of extra control. It's very, very neat. And I think for a hobbyist, or somebody starting out doing digital painting, this is everything you need to get you started. And it comes with all that great software too, um, which is really, really professional level software that you're getting there. And then once you uh, have got yourself to professional standards, of course, then you'll be earning pots and pots of money as a graphic designer or something. Then you can upgrade to Intuos Pro and some other kind of major um, art package if you want to. Now Wacom sent this to me to review. They haven't paid me to make this video, but can I recommend it? I certainly can. If you are a, a hobby digital painter, a hobby somebody, I'll tell you one thing, I don't actually use a mouse at all. Uh, I only use a Wacom pen, Wacom pen. Uh, when I used a mouse, I was clicking away all day and I found I was getting starting to get RSI and pains in my arm. As soon as I swapped over to using a Wacom pen, no problem at all so that's a very good reason to use one and i think if you're trying to do digital drawing with a mouse it's really very very difficult so um, getting yourself one of these will really help you get started in digital painting photo editing design all sorts of things like that everything creative it's called the creative pen tablet for a reason can i recommend it i certainly can well, thanks for watching. Please like this video and make sure you are subscribed to the Draw Stuff Real Easy channel. You can support my videos by following me on my Patreon page. Put your drawing idea requests in the comments box below and remember to keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.